Okay, here we are at the top of Carroll's. This is the highest lifted point in Australia. North Ramshead is just behind us, then Kosciuszko, or Kosciuszko as the Polish would call it. And then down the valley, it's the distillery. The distillery, as the crow flies, is about eight kilometers away. Now we're gonna make some gin today. So we're gonna melt some snow. We're here at the top of the mountain. We're gonna ski down to Dead Horse Gap, melt some snow. And I reckon we should celebrate by ringing the bell with the snowflake on it to get started, eh? All right, let's go. Put all the mountain botanicals in the still. We heat it up. Goes over there, down through a worm. Runs down here into a bucket. Then from that bucket, we add our snow melt. Uh, our snow melt is our little snow cream milk. We cut that out. Our water droplets. We add it to our gin in the bucket. Brings it to about 40% alcohol. We put it in a bottle. This is our bottle, our special gin bottle. Put some ice in a glass, put it in there, add a little bit of alpine pepper berry, a little bit of tonic, and then we've got it. Our snow melt gin, a special alpine gin from the Snowy Mountains, Australia. How pure, how pure will this gin be? It's made out of that. This is a wondrous thing. Snow. Gin. The purest gin in the world. Made from pristine, alpine, Australian snow. Look at that. That's six. So we're going to ski down Dead Horse Gap and down the bottom there we're going to light a fire and we're going to melt down some of this snow, take it down to the distillery, the distillery is just down the road, only 8 kilometres, add it to our gin, put it in the bottle, a couple of ice cubes into our glass, add a bit of tonic and drink our snow melt gin. What do you reckon about that? Fantastic, looking forward to trying that. Yeah, I reckon that's a, that's a plan. Now let's go for a ski. Let's go for a ski. Go and melt our snow.
Well, here we go, Sebastian. I this is where we're going to melt our snow, make our gin right here, bottom of Dead Horse Gap, right next to the Threadbow River. Pristine waters, pristine mountain. We we'll skied down Dead Horse Gap, it was a little bit crusty in spots, but beautiful snow. Oh, uh, we've ended up here, right next to the Threadbow River at the bottom of Dead Horse Gap. We're going to set up now and do our snow melt, our base product for our snow gin. So uh, let's get set up and melt our snow and yeah, let's, cool. uh, let's make our gin. Let's make it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we've got this beautiful virgin snow here. We're going to shovel it into this special cauldron, snow melt cauldron. Starting to melt now. Here we go. Now we've got it. I'm going to hand over to Sebastian. I reckon with all that fresh snow that will make such a beautiful gin. With that blend of juniper, the fresh mountain pepper from here, yeah, it will make a cracker. Just really pure, really simple, but perfect for any kind of gin drink. I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Exactly what you want. Yeah. Anyway, it's and melting. Snow, there's nothing to hide. <laughs> Nothing to hide, Nothing it is beautiful. Hide. That's yeah. pure virgin snow. It snowed last night, can't be any pressure. 23rd? 23rd of July, look at this beautiful weather. Yeah. Beautiful skiing, yeah. yeah. perfect spot for skiing. We're right next to the Threadbow River as well, so if we, if we can't melt enough, we can always just uh, borrow a bit from the creek. It's melted further up. Yeah, so uh, anyway, let's. Uh, this fire is burning beautifully. Melting away there. The cauldron's yeah. getting hot. Oh, we want to make the, you know, a, a, a snowy mountain snow melt gin. That's the motivation behind it. Like we've been making gin for, for a number of years now and we, we've been using the mountain botanicals. Now we want to melt some snow and, and uh, you know, water being a big part of our process um, and we want to have some of that mountain character in our gin and what could be better than uh, some melted virgin snow. This is uh, it's pretty exciting stuff, just being up here. No, no, I think mm. we can honestly say that's the ingredients, highest sourced ingredients of Australia. No one else will be higher than us. <laughs> well, we are the highest distillery. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, look at that, melting away beautifully there. How good will this be? Yeah. Look at the cleanliness. Yeah. Oh, look at that beautiful stuff. It's like my mother said, she came up with the name Mild Wild Brumby and she was driving through the Alpine Way. The Alpine Way is just behind us here. Um, Dead Horse Gap and this is the, the entrance to North Ramshead. This is the part of the Bundian Way where the uh, indigenous people, the Nagarigo people came from the coast into the mountains and they came through this path right through where we are here and standing. So behind us is Cascades and they walked up which was the Bundian Way and then up to North Ramshead to eat the Bogong Moth. Um, so you know with respect to what they did in this area and respect to the, the, uh, the traditional owners of this land it's a uh, a fantastic place to this is a majestic place and it's just a beautiful place to melt some snow put it in our gin wild brumby my mother being involved my mother's 91 she's still working at the distillery <laughs> which <laughs> is pretty amazing yeah. um we she arrived this week and she's still uh, pretty interested in wild brumby she thought of the name and you know it's just the whole combination of being in this environment the history of this environment, the ecology of this environment, putting it all together, the botanicals, everything that goes into our gin should taste of the mountains. So if you want to taste the snowy mountains, just test out our snow gin. Anyway, we're melting away nicely there, aren't we? Well, it's actually, it's an easy process if you think about it, but there's so much to it. Like the source of the botanicals, I think it's so important to us not just the botanicals we get here, but from your family farm, yeah. family orchard, all those 
all those connections we have and then well it's heating it up and cooling it down and yeah, a bit of science in between with a lot of art to make sure we don't blow us up while we do it <laughs> yeah well I don't know whether you've ever watched that show on television the moonshiners the moonshiners usually set up in a location like this and then they heat up their product like this like and then this, they yeah. run it through a worm or a condenser in the creek and then the moonshine runs out the other end so you know that's always an interesting process isn't it to think that you could actually do that here if you if you want to yeah uh well it wouldn't be quite it wouldn't be legal like we do have nah. a legal still exactly. so i think we should do that part at home yeah um no nah, but sourcing the water from here rather than just opening a tap well yeah. anyone could do it easy we want, yeah. we, we want something with a story behind it yeah you don't want to make life's not easy exactly anyway that's all a part of it isn't it it is it's a journey anyway we're almost melted we're here almost we're there. almost ready to tip it into our uh, our balloon our, our glass balloon one of many cauldrons of snow melt to go there we go well normally in those balloons we store our purely made schnapps and freshly made spirits but i think that's the first for us that we come up the mountains and actually use it for storing water to blend the finished spirit with afterwards and that balloon came, didn't came with me from Germany, but not at the same time, but it is a German glass balloon, especially designed to storage spirits. Moonshine has got nothing on us. Almost ready. Let's, uh, it's going to be quite heavy to lift it. I wouldn't. Well, here we are, it's just gradually melting and pouring into our glass balloon. So we'll fill up our glass balloons and then we take them back to the distillery and we add it to our mountain gin and off we go. Our snow melt well, gin is finished. Done. It's all done. Perfect. Tomorrow we'll be drinking snow melt gin and tonics down at the distillery. Can't wait.